Hi everybody, this is Kiefer from DangerouslyHardcore.com and I'm actually really excited for this video because I just figured out what I'm going to give away on Christmas to everybody who watches these videos, everybody who visits the website, and everybody who follows me on Twitter and Facebook. And I don't want to spill the beans yet, but I'm very excited this is something that will help a lot of people, including people who do CrossFit. Because as I've said before, I hate CrossFit. I absolutely hate CrossFit. But I love CrossFitters. They work harder than just about anybody else to make themselves better every day. Uh, they just need a better way to do that. But anyway, on today's tip, I'm gonna give you a couple tricks to help out people who've had some problems. Uh, there's been a few people, well, actually a pretty good handful, that have experienced hypoglycemia in the morning. And that's if they just basically have their coffee and cream or coffee and coconut milk. Before lunch, they get a little lightheaded, they go through some sweats, and actually what they're experiencing is hypoglycemia. A very, very easy fix to this is literally two to three fried eggs in some butter every morning when you first get up. Uh, everybody makes the mistake that carb backloading is intermittent fasting, but it is not. Carb backloading only primarily wants you to keep carbohydrates out of the diet in the first half of the day. Insulin should only be used in very, very appropriate cases. And this is one, with the butter, the eggs won't raise insulin levels too high and you can get, you can overcome that hypoglycemia if you have that problem in the morning. Now another trick using simple foods, if you don't have an allergy to milk, milk's very interesting because milk has a pretty low glycemic index actually. And when you mix it with other foods, it also decreases the insulin index or the glycemic index of those foods. The interesting thing about milk is even though it lowers the glycemic index, it raises the insulin index. So, uh, pardon me. Uh, so this is ideal if you are training every other day and you don't wanna eat your carbs after your training session, but you're still looking for, the, for those insulin spikes. You can add some milk to your post-workout shake with a little bit of glucose, you'll lower the glycemic index, but you'll increase the insulin release. Uh, it's a really good method and it works well for a lot of people. And then they save their carb back loads for the night before their training session. All right, that's kind of a compounded tip from dangerouslyhardcore.com. I am so excited for you guys to get to Christmas and figure out what your gift is.